Welcome to Hexagon. This is a game by Terry Kavanagh. Um, don't know how you pronounce that. So, Hexagon. I'm going to read the description of this game. Hexagon is a one-day game jam I made in early 2012. It's a prototype version of what eventually became a much larger project. Super Hexagon, if you enjoy the other version, consider checking out more of my games. So, basically, this is a kind of a really fast base. I'm not sure how to describe it. It's kind of like, you know those mobile phone games like F Flappy Bird and Color Switch or whatever the crap that was? It's like those games. It's the really fast-based, difficult games that have no genre. Um, they're not puzzle games. They're not action games. They're kind of just, yeah, I don't know what genre you would even consider them to be in. But this is a very interesting game. Uh, it's fun. It's addictive, but not too addictive. It's easy to come off, but it's easy to keep playing. Uh, and it's just, you feel like you want to challenge yourself. So we're going to give this a go at it. We're going to do a little bit of a spin a -rooney. And I'm going to, wow, this needs to be removed from my channel. So here we go. Let's see how this goes. Right. Pretty easy so far. So as you can see, this little triangle here moves around a hexagon. Um, I need tits. Right, okay. Yeah, that kind of thing happens. Basically, avoid the um, yellow bits and the stuff like that. Yeah, try and, try and avoid the yellow things and just keep going on and on and on. That's literally your only goal. So this can be controlled by... Fuck. This can be controlled by A and D or the arrow keys. Or, you know, both at the same time if you're that kind of a quirky person. Um... I do not want to ever say a word quirky again. So, yeah. So, as you can see, I'm not sure how to describe this game. As I say, it's just really fast paced. Holy shit. Um, difficult game. Essentially, the screen moves with the game. So, the actual game constantly rotates, but at the same time, your perception of the rotating game rotates in all different directions and once you once you play it for like a couple of hours it just gets really disorienting now i first found this game a couple of years ago on sorry i failed on nerd cubed's channel uh when i used to watch nerd cube this is on three free games friday and that's how i found this game out ah, and i haven't touched it in about three four years probably more than that actually so this is kind of like you know actually i played it a couple of hours ago and I've, I've been playing it for the past like 20 24 minutes maybe like only five maybe like maybe like 10 15 i'm gonna stop talking now and try and concentrate because holy shit it can get difficult um i recommend you play this game i'll leave the link in the description this right i'll leave the link in the description Ugh, jesus christ every second feels like a minute on this game and there's different levels, so as you can see, 63 seconds, that is my current record. That's it, 63 seconds, that's nothing. Um, Tate, where, where am I? Hello? Oh my god, I didn't think I made it, so I stopped playing, because I wasn't paying attention to the game properly, I was trying to wipe my hands, too sweaty. Anyway, so yeah, 63 seconds is absolutely nothing, obviously, in real time, that's one minute. But it feels like so much longer because you're so disoriented and you're trying. Fuck off! You're trying so hard. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Sorry, that was just a terrible attempt. So there's different levels. Um, every like 10 or 20 seconds or so, you progress a level. Um, and I've already progressed like six levels, so I can't progress anymore until I get you know into the level that I'm already at, which is about 63 seconds in. Um, once I'm at that level, then I can start leveling up again, and it'll start saying, oh yeah, every 15 seconds a new level will appear, holy shit, tits. Right. This is really difficult. Right, I'm at 29 seconds. Halfway there, boys. Halfway there. Easy. Easy. We got this. Easy dubs. Right, around. Tits! Damn it! Well. <laughs> I get a little bit emotional when I play this game. As you can probably tell. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating when you put 36 seconds into a game. God, so long, I know. Honestly, feels like a lifetime. So you just kind of get really triggered. And you just take a step back and you realize... 
funny game. Why do you have to be mad? Literally, you get so pissed off at this game. Damn it! You get really annoyed at this game. And then you take a step back and you realize, I want to fucking die. And you just kind of take a step back and realize, hey, does it matter? You know? So, kind of want to, you know, it's August. It is August the 26th right now. That was a very stressful half a second of me looking away from the game. Why did I go around the long way? It's August 26th. Results day was two days ago. Three days ago. Shut up. 23rd. My GCSEs. I got decent grades. So, I'm happy. I'm a happy duckling starting my A-level soon. Um, oh, my tits. That was so good. Starting my A-level soon. Do maths, the maths, and physics. Uh, which is going to be fun. For the first like week, and then I'm gonna want to kill myself. But I am not gonna drop any of the subjects. I promise myself that I'm not dropping maths, better maths, or physics, and I'm sticking through it for two years. And then fuck, but to get into the navy. So that's my that's my goal. Got um, three eights, which is A star equivalent. So happy about that. Um, and three fives. So I got eight in maths. 8 in chemistry, 8 in physics, and I'm gonna be honest, I really didn't do as much revision as I should have. So many people did, honestly, a ridiculous amount of revision. I've seen people, one of my friends, I'm not gonna say who it is or what grades he got, but he did so absolutely incredibly well. Um, and he just did a shit ton of revision, but he's one of those students that is just absolutely naturally gifted, but at the same time, he- FUCK! was so close but he did work really hard for it so he got just astronomical grades um actually i can tell you what he got because you don't know who he is not that really it matters but um see so yeah, my friend of mine I, he had five nines which is the top level possible it's it's like the top end a star and he got five of them so he's basically absolutely incredible and he did a shit ton of revision. He worked so hard for those nines. Me personally, I was a little more laid back because I, at the time, kind of felt like it wasn't worth the stress, which I absolutely agree with. I, I came out with still incredible grades, which I'm happy about, and it's more than enough for what I need in life. So I'm more than happy, and at the same time, didn't cause myself stress during the exam period. Tits. So, yeah. That's my plans. Um, do six form. Hopefully go to the navy. If not, find you know some kind of an engineering job somewhere, and then now uh, head and head off into uni once I finish the navy. Because basically it's eighteen till twenty four. The course that I want to do it's accelerated apprenticeship, weapons engineering, <laughs> tits. Um. So yeah, that's like I'm gonna probably leave it when I'm about twenty four. I don't want to stay in the navy particularly at the minute. Who knows? I might change my mind when I actually join. If I join might change my mind but at the minute I don't particularly fancy it. Damn it. I don't really fancy it. I don't think military life is for me but however I do think the training, the military background is definitely going to be beneficial for me. That's why I'm going to do it. How am I this bad? Holy shit. Anyway. So yeah. That's my plan. Uh, and then how to the uni. Because by then I'll have more than enough money for university and I do want to get some very advanced education in physics and fucking penis balls and maths because those are two things i'm very interested in chemistry i'm surprised i did so well in i thought i was gonna flunk chemistry completely but i actually came out with an a which is fucking that's a very good grade that's an a star same in maths same in physics so i'm very happy about that and i got a five which is a low end well high end c um in english biology and the other english so english lit and language got fives which are high c's not the best grade, but do you know what? It's not a fucking fail, and that's all I care about. I didn't fail English, I didn't fail anything, and I'm happy about it. I got a distinction star in ICT, which is just incredible. I'm so happy about it. I don't mean to brag, by the way. I'm not bragging. I'm saying they're incredible as in I'm happy about it, personally, because it's, it's what I've wanted. got a distinction star in IT, and I got a merit level 2 in, in engineering. Engineering was a pain in the arse. Holy shit, if I'm in it out that, I'm a pro. Anyway, engineering was just a pain in the arse. We got switched about five teachers throughout the entire course of two years. Half of the course we didn't get taught. 
Um, and it was just an absolute ball ache. It was an absolute shit show. So, I'm happy that I got a merit level 2, to be honest. I think it's the highest anybody got. I don't think anybody got distinctions. Certainly no one got distinctions stars in engineering. I don't know why I'm just going through my life story. I just feel like I have a chat. I haven't uploaded in months, you know? <clears throat> yeah, and in design technology, product design, I got a C overall, I think. Or C or a B. One of the two. Um, either way, I don't really care. It wasn't my primary choice. It was just an extra GCSE that I kind of do because I was like, you know, kind of don't really have a choice and there's nothing else that I'm interested in. I don't want to do French or history. I dropped out of RE to save time and to do more uh, physics because I didn't want to. My philosophy behind it, my philosophy speaking a bit now. As my sentences make no sense. Anyway, I dropped out of RE because my thinking was at home. I want to have the time to chill. If I stress myself out, I know I do not do well when I'm constantly being stressed out. However, I have, well, I say that, I do do well in high pressure situations, but I felt like putting too much stress on me would be detrimental to my grades, because I know I can handle high pressure situations, but I felt like if I stressed myself out too much, it would actually, I would actually come out with worse grades. That's why I didn't do so much revision at home. So I dropped out of RE to do extra revision and side projects, like personal projects. And uh, at some point I will do a video on the personal project that I did because I have worked on about 10 or 20 scratch projects and very into programming. I uh, have been for years now. Um, however, it's very basic level programming. It's nothing like, you know, extreme Python and shit. I am trying to learn Python because I'm getting sick of using Scratch. I want to start doing 3D games. I've worked on 2D games and 2D representations of mathematic constructs and things like that in science. Now I want to work on 3D variations. So I've made a 2D... I'm, I'm not going to speak of it too much because I do want to make a proper video on it, but I made a 2D um, gravitational um, model. So basically two objects that get affected by each other's gravity. Kind of like, I guess you can say binary stars and things like that. It was a simulation of that and they went around each other and their own gravity interfered with each other. It was kind of gravitational waves. It wasn't just gravitational strengths because gravitational, the, act, the actual gravity fields of the objects themselves interfered with the gravitational fields of the object. So it kind of, it was a very cool simulation. It was. As, as far as I'm aware, to my scientific knowledge, accurate, which I'm happy about. But it was only 2D, and it was very small, and it was very slow. It took a few seconds per frame, um, and it was, you know, I aimed for 60 FPS, because that's the frame rate of a monitor. 60 seconds, sorry, about 3, it was about 3 seconds per frame, because it was a very high accuracy model. Um... So about 3 seconds per frame, 60 FPS, 180 seconds, that's 3 minutes per per second. So it was very time cons it's very time consuming to render out. So what I want to do, and that's mainly down to the limitations of Scratch, because I'm using Scratch 2.0. Fuck! Not to fuck, no. <laughs> I'm using Scratch 2.0 program at the minute. It's just a very basic visual programming tool. Um, so I'm still starting out. I'm just trying to understand the, the basics and the actual, you know, the fundamentals of programming. I'm not trying to do anything serious at the moment. So, so yeah, I'm trying to, to, fuck, damn it. I'm trying to move towards Python now. I'm going to start learning Python a lot more. Um, I know bits and bobs, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not a complete noob, but I know how to, you know, I've, I've made a text adventure game where you know you input your name and it was very very simplistic and it was linear but um, it was just one of those tryout games see how see how I cope with Python and it wasn't that bad so I'm gonna learn Python and I want to make some 3d games but mainly 3d simulations because I feel like considering I've got distinction star in IT I'm really looking forward to a potential career in uh, some kind of computing engineering because I love computers and engine fuck so close I love computers and love engineering and um, that was a long 42 seconds so yeah I'm gonna do some series uh, hopefully in the future on um, 3d programming but my programming skills at the minute are mainly limited 
in mathematical programming. I can't make incredible games. I am working on games at the minute. Like I'm making on a. I've been playing a lot of Game Dev Tycoon recently, so I'm trying to make a Game Dev game, and I made Minesweeper game as well because I love I love Minesweeper. It's a fantastic game. Ooh, should make a video on that as well. But yeah. Fuck. Right. I've made a lot of projects recently on Scratch programming, so. I am going to start progressing in that soon as well. This is the last one. No, this is the last one. Last final one. <laughs> this is very much a one last attempt game. You have one last go and then you're like, oh, one more. One more go. And that's me done. Fuck this game. I'm out. Go check it out. It's a fantastic game. Link in the description and I'll see you later. Everything is on point. On everything. Crabs are looking Gucci. Chop is all I want until it suits hey, me. Everything is on point. Yeah, yeah. Show the ground for how I'm living. Mm. Can't complain on how